Hello everybody, my name is Goof Norton and welcome back to another broadcast of the Goof Norton Radio Show. Today, I am doing a topic that has been suggested a lot to me. Um, that is, in the, it takes place in the comic, comic book universe, um, with the new and upcoming movie, um, um, Captain America vs. Iron Man, you know, in a Civil War. So, uh, I have been asked uh, about my opinions on it and also um the batman vs superman movie i'll go over that a little bit um i'm going to uh fit all of this in in one one uh one podcast here so we can um well makes it easier for me because i might forget so um so first off we're gonna go off with a uh, dc since that came out first um uh the batman vs superman movie i did go see it and it was pretty good, but, I mean, it wasn't great. It wasn't great, um, but it wasn't horrible, obviously. Um, the thing is, it was, it was, there's some stuff kind of missing and some stuff they kind of did wrong and they could have done better. I mean, that's every movie, but still, with that movie especially, I was kind of thinking, like, throughout it, like, okay, this is fine. Uh, but through the beginning, it was kind of slow, you know, and then they kind of rushed it. They kind of, the action parts towards the end of the movie, I feel like it was kind of rushed, you know? They could have done a little bit more with it. Um, with Doomsday, it was, it was, it was too slow. Um, also, I forgot, spoilers, you know, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it yet, then don't listen to this and skip ahead, like, I don't know, six minutes, seven minutes or so. I'll put a freaking, I'll put a link up or something to uh, so you can skip ahead. Um, but Doomsday, Doomsday was in there for like a quick second, and then he was gone, dead like that. And uh, I don't think that was good. I don't think that was good at all because they could have done so much more with him. Um, as a super, as a superhero like villain, as a superhero's like nemesis there. Uh, wouldn't say him. Well, he's not a nemesis. He's just uh, another villain. But as a very powerful villain, like he was, he wasn't in there long enough. He was in there for a very short time, and that kind of like kind of irked me in a way of like, you guys should have kept him in there longer, because like he didn't get to do much. He had like a King Kong scene, a scene, and then you know, then it was a it was a fight with the Trinity, and that that was just like too quick. And I didn't get enough out of it. It wasn't enough. It was just too short. And there have been comments all over the internet, and uh, especially especially Facebook, which I've been seeing that are like uh, that are saying like, "Oh, you Marvel fans are just salty and you know, whatever, calling them stupid and idiots and whatnot." It's not that. It's because we know what a movie should be like, especially a superhero movie. It's just because I don't, just because someone doesn't like a DC movie and they're a Marvel fan doesn't mean they're haters and they're stupid and they're idiots. It means that sometimes, you know, oh, they might know what they're talking about sometimes, you know? Sometimes the movie actually does suck and, I don't know, maybe you're defending it because you, you know. Because maybe you know it wasn't that good. And the fact that you, the fact that you call them idiots is like not making you look any better, making you seem like making look, uh, giving a bad rap for uh, DC, and that's that's why I kind of got pissed off when I saw that. I was like, really, really, that's what you're that's what you're going with. So I mean, I, you know, I kept looking through Facebook and whatnot, and um, I mean, a guy put up a post said Bruce Willis should have been um, should have been Lex Luthor. I mean, it's it's because he's bald. Uh, I don't know if he could pull off like a serious role like that, because with every movie I've seen him in, there's like always that sense of you know jokiness, humor, that sense of little sense of humor in there. Um, so it's just like, eh. I mean, they're pretty sure there's other actors out there that are bald that that can um do stuff. Uh, it's it's it is really annoying when people actually do do comments like that. It's so stupid. It's, it's, like, it's annoying, like, just, like, why would you, like, like, why why would you waste your time, like, insulting a fan from another comic book? 
liking like for nothing liking another comic book company. Like I don't I don't see I don't see why you would um why you would do that. Like for liking another franchise. Like that's stupid, worthless. Um, but yeah, some of the Marvel fans know what they're talking about. Like it didn't it wasn't that good. Like. The Batman vs Superman fight didn't really last that long. Uh, didn't really last long at all. Oh, and when they introduced the rest of the Justice League, man, they didn't do them any justice. That was terrible. Um, because the way they introduced them is, oh, we found these files, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, because I'm comparing, I'm comparing this with Marvel's The Avengers because, um. They got their, they all got their own movies before, um, before they all came together and did, you know, the Avengers. And I was like, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Cause it gives people something to look for. It gives them, it gets them pumped up for that final movie where they all finally come together and do their thing, do what they, you know, came to do. You know, let's kick butt and, you know, save the world. But when you have, but I mean, I feel it's weird because, they, they're gonna probably, hopefully, what I'm hoping they do is do movies after they've done, uh, after they did Batman vs Superman. I hope that's, hopefully that's what they're gonna do. Cause if they don't do anything with it and they just leave it at that, I will probably not go see any Justice League movie because that is bull. Uh, that's bull. That's not how you, that's not how you really, like, treat your characters like that. Um, I saw Flash's little, uh, clip segment. I mean, he doesn't look like a guy I'd call Barry at all. He looks like a guy I'd call, like, Tyler or John or something, you know. He doesn't look like a Barry at all. It's, and it's like, man, he look kind of, you kind of look ridiculous. Um, uh, Cyborgs, you know, it was pretty okay. It was pretty okay. You know, it, followed, it, it was his story, uh, in a way. Aquaman's, Aquaman's, uh, I'm not all for the new look of Aquaman. I prefer the old, you know, the old blonde guy. Um, you know, it's just my preference because that's what I kind of grew up with in Justice League and whatnot. Um, so that's just my preference. Uh, he'll probably do fine. If he doesn't, then you'll hear me talking about it again on this show. So yeah, that's, that's my, uh, that's my thing for, um, Oh, also, Batman killing people? Really? That's what you're gonna go with, DC? Like, they just broke, they broke the promise. Like, that's, oh man, that's like the whole scene with Joker and Batman, like, he doesn't kill people. Why'd you make him kill people? That's awful. Why would you do that, DC? That's such a bad thing. And I can't, I, I couldn't believe when he actually did. I was like, oh boy, you actually killed people. I was like, why? Why, why, why? He doesn't kill people. That is not his thing. That's not Batman's thing. Um, I'm trying to think what else, like, cause it's just so much. Um, the, the Luther that we got, I didn't really like him because he was too, he was too childish. And, you know, he's not mature enough because the, the Luther that I grew up with was in the animated series of Justice League. He was a more, you know, mature guy, and he's so evil that, you know, just looking at him, like, kind of, like, you're like, oh, man, this guy makes me sick. When I see the other Luther, and I've heard people tell me, like, it's his son. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I mean, I don't follow comic books exactly. Uh, I don't know if that is his son. Something tells me that, like, that it's not. You know, if I'm wrong, correct me, you know, leave me a link to something that will tell me, like, the actual comic, if you can find it, that tells me that that's his son. Um, but, like, last time I checked, when the Superman arrived, it was the bald Luther that we saw. And, um, that, that kind of, that kind of, like, threw me off. I was like, this, well, what's this kid doing here? Where is the actual Luther? Like, this must be his cousin or something. Uh, he must be out sick, you know? And I didn't feel like he was there. I, I mean, he was crazy, but he was crazy. Like, he should have been the Joker instead of, like, he looked, he looked like he was out to play the Joker instead of Lex Luthor. 
Um, like, I kind of think he brought a little bit of shame to the, you know, Lex Luthor name. I mean, overall, he wasn't, like, I mean, he wasn't a terrible actor. Like, he's not a terrible actor. I'm not saying that. No, he's a fine actor. But the way he played or portrayed Lex Luthor didn't seem to really fit. Like, we know, like, something's wrong in Le Lex Luthor's mind, but it's, it's not like, or like he does in, um, like he did in the movie. It's, it's not like that. It's a little bit different. But, um, I mean, yeah, I don't feel like that was the actual Le Lex Luthor. Like, it wasn't Lex Luthor that created, uh, a clone Superman and, you know, after Superman died from fighting Doomsday and whatnot. I didn't feel like it was that. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, I did, I did, however, like when, um, when Superman did, um, you know, quote unquote die, uh, in space when he got hit with a nuke, um, you know, that kind of, that kind of actually told people like, hey, this guy gets his power from the sun. Wink, wink, you know, keep up with that. That's something that's gonna probably come in handy. Um, but, I mean, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty important. Um, Hold on. Uh, let's see. Superman Prime, that's what I was thinking of. Um, I hope we get to see that. I hope we get to see somewhat of something of that in the, um, in, uh, in the, in the movies. Like, I know that's new because, I know that's, well, it's not, let's see, I'm trying to think of it. Like, it's not really new, new, but, in on on YouTube, of course, uh, in a death battle episode, Goku versus Superman, like one of the most biased, you know, fights ever. Um, Superman went to another level, which is basically his ultimate form, Superman Prime, where he spends time in the sun and you know he just gains power and comes back out, basically invincible, and just he can just do whatever. Um, but I hope we get to see some of that, because I feel like that would be, like, one of the things that would, you know, you know, help out the Justice League a little bit. Um, let's see. Batman talked about him already. Um, Ben Affleck did a good job, uh, I must admit. He did a better job of, uh, portraying Batman than I would have imagined he would have done. Um, I was kind of, you know, skeptical at first, but, um, he pulled through. He pulled through for me. Uh, let's see. Uh, Wonder Woman? Nice, nice, nice. Uh, at, well, when we, um, when we first saw her, we didn't really see her. We saw her, but we didn't really see her. We saw her as just a woman at a party that he met. Um, we didn't really know who that was. Some, some of us didn't know who that was. You know, some of us, some, some people like got that immediately, like, oh, this must be her. Or, um, it took people a while sometimes. You know, some people say, you know, it took a while to get, like, get it, like, and then we saw the footage, and we were like, oh, like, this is Wonder Woman. Okay. And, you know, they, they got the stories right and all that stuff, uh, which is good. But I don't expect them to follow the comic book exactly, because if they did, that would cost billions of dollars, and uh, we're already in debt, it is it. We're, America is already in debt, as is, so we're not going to, uh, do that. But, um... On to the main topic of today, <laughs> after my rant about Batman vs Superman. Uh, the main topic today is Captain America or Iron Man? Team Cap or Team Iron Man? Um, uh, Ryan asked me this question. That's, uh, his channel is Dub Boss Gaming. Um, he asked me this question over Facebook. He asked me whether I chose Team Cap. Or Team Iron Man. And I said Team Iron Man. And I, I thought deep about it. I thought a long time about it. You know, I got all hyped for it. I had to calm myself down before this episode. Um, before I started doing this. But I chose Team Iron Man because, you know, despite Tony Stark's arrogance, he is, you have to admit, like, he's a, like, he's a smart dude. He's a billionaire, blah, 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 billionaire playboy. And a philanthropist. Like, this guy has made tons of suits 
for like pretty much any situation. He is the Batman of the Marvel Universe because he's rich and he prepares for all situations. You know, he has the Hulkbuster for Pete's sake. That is a that is a basically a failsafe. Um, I chose Stark because yeah, despite his arrogance and whatnot, he's a smart guy and he knows you know how to how to fight. Like he knows how to get in there and just get it done. Uh, Captain America, I mean, I feel like, I mean, he's supposed to be the all-American good guy, you know, the Superman. But sometimes, sometimes you can't always side with Superman. Sometimes you gotta go with a different, gotta do with a different, you know, uh, point of view. Sometimes you gotta go with Batman. In this case, I have to go with Iron Man. Mainly because, like, it's, his team, his team, is better. His team is better. I have to admit his team is better because you have the Black Widow. She is rush well, in the comics. She's supposed to be a spy and whatnot. Uh, she works for Shield. Um, she has a different accent too, but you know that's whatever. Black Panther, Spider Man. Um, what else am I freaking missing? Oh, Rhodey. Um, Uh, wow, I'm missing somebody else. Hold on, wow. Who am I missing? I, <laughs> I'm so slow right now. What the heck? Captain Rick, I feel like he's a... He, he's supposed to be an all-American hero, but I feel like he's a bit naive in, the, in a way because of the fact that, you know, he's he's just all good. And the thing is, like, he fails to see. Like, sometimes you have to think to, think in a different way. Like, his strategies don't always work. And I have to admit, like, sometimes it's, like, it's weird. Because this guy, he's kind of a Superman kind of guy. He's supposed to be, like, a Superman, you know, copy. You know, but he doesn't always know what he's doing. You know, he's getting lost sometimes. He struggles sometimes. And it's like, man, I like, when, but you look at Tony Stark, he's, he's getting it done. Now, in the comics, um, oh, man. I can't tell you what happens in the comics, but if you do know what happens in the Captain America versus Iron Man comic in the in the comic books, um, you will know that if if that happens in the movie, a ton of people are going to be you know outraged and whatnot. Um, it's like Star Wars spoilers all over again. Um, but I will not say I will not say what goes down. I will not say what happens. To anybody. Or, uh, you know, anything else like that. But, um, yeah, that's, that's it. So I have an article here pulled up. It's on marvel.com. Um, I'm gonna pull it up here. Hold up. I have to. Okay. So I'm gonna, like, probably get some of this in. So, um, Captain America and Iron Man boast. An impressive record when it comes to when it comes to battles. So arguably that the two greatest Avengers ever come to blows, expect a slobber knocker of epic proportions. The tale of the tape for these two heroic titans stands almost too close to call. On one hand, you have the world's greatest soldier gifted with countless abilities. On the other, you have the world's smartest, richest, and cunning men who happens to rock a nearly indestructible suit that's loaded with some awesome power of science. Um, Cap and Mr. Stark have gone head to head more than a few times, so let's take it. Let's take an abridged look at uh, some of their more notable encounters. And this is for comics. Like, if you want to go look these up online, they're probably online somewhere, or if you can, you know, find a store, um, you can go buy them. Uh, there's, let's see, Iron Man number two hundred twenty-eight, Armor Wars. Um, Iron Man squared off against his uh, on and off. On against off again. Uh, Bestie and the Avengers teammate Steve Rogers, bam, bam, smack in the middle of an armored, of an armor wars, uh, induced rampage. While Steve technically wore a moniker of the Captain Amer Cap the Captain, he still took serious ex, uh, exception to shellhead kicking, <laughs> uh, the pants off, the pants out of the host of Guardsmen. This stood as a notable foreshadowing to the pair of superheroes 
not seeing eye to eye. And then Captain America, number 341, breaking. Still under the... the Sorry, still under the uh, title of Captain, of the Captain. Steve Rogers took it upon himself to stop his old pal when Iron Man presumably went rogue. This happened once again. Uh, this happened to once again be around the time of the Army Wars. So the chip on Tony Stark's shoulders stood exponentially larger than usual. Uh, there's Iron Man number 11, Civil War 2006-2007, uh, Iron Man, Captain America, Casualties of War number 1. Yeah, these are all the comics. Wait, oh, can I actually read these? Well then, that might be helpful. Hold on, let me see. Oh, well I never clicked that far. Oh. I can print this. Cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's, I don't know, it's just something, it's just something about Tony Stark that, like, attracts me. I'm not, I'm not an arrogant person, uh, not in the least bit. <laughs> me, me in real life, I am not arrogant at all. Neither, I'm not really online either because there's no purpose to it, you know. Arrogance can sometimes make you slip up and make you fall, and then everybody be laughing at you. And where's your arrogance now? You look stupid. Um, but, um, yeah, that's my choice. I pick Team Iron Man. Who do you choose? Tell me in the comments below, please. And, uh, I will be sure to, uh, address each and every one of your comments. Because this is a very interesting topic. Um, wow. That is, that is weird. Uh, let me check my timer here. Uh, that's an easy 21 minutes. Wow. Um... Jeez. So, um, yes, thank you guys for listening to this week's broadcast. Um, there will be more probably in the next one discussing more about this. Uh, I'll probably be doing it with Ryan. And, um, that is Dub Boss Gaming. If you guys want to check out his channel, I will put it in the description below. You can try to check out his vlog. I will put, probably put that in the description below as well. And, um, you know, tell me your opinions. I want to know. You know. Who side are you on? Batman versus Superman? You know, Batman or Superman? Uh, Iron Man or Captain America? Which one do you choose? Whose team do you choose? Which one will bring home the gold? But, um, yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching this. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.